everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you a look that you can wear to school every day. I wore it today and I got a lot of compliments on how pretty my makeup was today. I'm just kidding. Um, so today I decided to do a scarier, I guess, Halloween tutorial for you guys. And this is my favorite Halloween tutorial that I've done. Um, I've only done two of them, I know, and they were quite simple. But I'm going to say that this is one of my favorite, like, costumes or... I guess, because it's not really a costume, I guess it is costume makeup, so I guess I would say that this is probably one of my favorite costumes I've ever, like, worn throughout the years for Halloween, and I'm going to be working, like, a scary house type thing this weekend with John, so I needed some scary makeup, and I wanted to be something pretty until I saw this, and this is actually, like, inspired by the MAC collection, I can't remember what it was, but it was back in 2007. If you were into MAC then, then you probably know what it was called. Um, but I saw a girl do this and I thought, that is perfect for this weekend. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this as a tutorial because it is so cool. Look at that. It's like so unexpected. It's just like a zipper running down your face. So I'm basically going to show you how that you can get this look super simple, kind of back from the dead. Not sure what I'm doing for my costume yet, um, so that's kind of bad, but for the face, I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial so you guys know how to do it. Okay, so first you're going to want to make your face look very white and pale, and my face is already like almost this pale, so I just had to use a little bit of a lighter foundation than my skin tone actually is. You can get um, Ben Nye, which I think is provided at like Halloween stores for like three or four dollars, very inexpensive. I know that you can get them at like Walmart and stuff, just like Target, because they have a Halloween aisle, just stuff like that. So first you're gonna wanna do that. And now is the fun part. This is what I call the fun part you are going to take your zipper, you can also get these at like craft stores or something, or you can cut them out of your own pants. I cut them out of my own pants. So, shows you how simple that is. So, you're basically going to kind of decipher where that you want it. And then you are going to take a brush or a gel eyeliner or a pencil eyeliner in the color black. You just want to kind of outline where that you're going to put that so that you know when you're gluing it and you're just basically going to trace where it is. So, going to trace the outside. Just like that. I'll match those up. This is kind of pokey. So basically it'll be like right about there on me. So you're not even going to be able to tell once that I put it on, but just so I kind of knew. Now you can take any adhesive glue or if you have like eyelash glue, that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go put that on. So you're just going to put it on the back of your zipper. So I just put glue on and now I'm going to place it where that I want it. Make sure it's kind of up around your eyes so that it's believable. Okay, so now I'm going to wait for this to dry and come back. And now the zipper is on, hopefully it's attached and it won't come off. And now for a base, I'm just going to use a red lipstick, and I'm actually going to be using two. I'm going to use one that is kind of a bright red and one that is a darker red. So here's the darker red, just kind of for a base, because most people don't have a red base. And we're going to blend these in together. This is going to be a really messy tutorial, um, or look. So this is just 
Uh, what color is this? Celebrate by NYX. Oh, I'm smudging my lipstick. Guess it would have been better to put this on with the brush, no? Oh well. Now we're gonna blend this one in with it. Kinda look a bit brighter. Okay. Now it is time for the fun blending. So just use blend. You can use a brush to get down into the other parts if you want to. It would also be a good idea to have a towel or something to wipe your hands on. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the eyeshadows. Sorry, I'm talking weird. I'm just like trying for this not to fall off my face. And now we're going to take a red from my Coastal Scents palette. Straight down there, it's the only red in this, which I was kind of upset about. But we're going to take this red and we are going to pat it. So now we're going to go around the zipper and kind of make a bruised effect and on our eyes and the rest of our face and then we'll be done with the look and we'll also do the lips too. But So now we're going to start needing to take dark purple so that will look like a bruise and for another base I'm going to be taking a cream eyeshadow to put around and then put other shadows over. So I'm using this palette from Revlon and I'm going to be using this color. Okay, so we're taking that color. Anything you have like that will be fine. This is from the palette Wild Orchids. So we're right along here. So this isn't meant to look natural by any means. So it's not supposed to look perfect. So don't worry about that. Actually make it as look as imperfect as you probably possibly can because that's really the whole concept is that we are injured and you want people to buy that. So I'm also going to put this as a base on my eyes because we'll be putting shadow there. And I'm going to do that around this eye too. Do the eyeshadow. And you're just going to take a shadow brush and get a purple that you like. And go over what you just did and blend out. I just love this. Okay, so my camera just died, but all I did was put a concealer over my lips, so that obviously kind of looks like they're very dead and just like have no color to them whatsoever. So that's what you're gonna have to do to your the other parts of my face, because it doesn't really make sense for my eyes and stuff to be all disheveled and messed up, and not to have like some scars and bruises all along my face. So I'm going to take my base again, just in the same purple, get a little bit on my finger and just kind of dab it around. You could do this with your eyeshadow too. Purple, yep. A black eyeshadow and I'm going to put it on just kind of a blush brush and blend it out. Eyeliner.
do something like that and then mess up your neck as well so you would just do the same like bruising effect like you're really back from the dead and I'd probably do it a lot kind of around there 